Hello, autoimmune warriors. I'm Dr. Eric Osansky, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the basics related to thyroid autoimmunity with a big focus on thyroid antibodies, which of course plays a big role in diagnosing autoimmune conditions such as Graves' disease and Hashimoto's. The main reason I put together these videos is to help people with different types of autoimmune conditions better understand the test results so they can find or remove their triggers, correct any underlying imbalances, and feel great again. So there are different types of thyroid antibodies that are present in autoimmune thyroid conditions. Some people with Hashimoto's and Graves' disease test positive for only one type of thyroid antibody, while others will test positive for multiple antibodies. So what is an antibody? An antibody is a Y-shaped protein that is part of an immune system response to something called an antigen. What is an antigen? An antigen is a foreign substance such as a pathogenic bacteria, food proteins, chemicals. So it's a foreign substance that causes an immune response. So these antibodies are secreted by B cells of the immune system and they essentially serve as a form of protection. So why do some people develop thyroid antibodies? In other words, why did I develop thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins when I was diagnosed with Graves' disease? So there's something called a triad of autoimmunity, which I have mentioned in other videos. And according to the triad of autoimmunity, there are three components necessary in order for autoimmunity to develop. So one component is a genetic predisposition. And fortunately, even though genetics is part of the triad of autoimmunity, it's not the most important component of the triad. And component number two is exposure to an environmental trigger or multiple environmental triggers. And then component number three is an increase in intestinal permeability, which is a medical term for a leaky gut. So there are four main types of thyroid antibodies. The most common type of thyroid antibodies is what's called thyroid peroxidase or TPO antibodies, more commonly associated with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, but also commonly seen in those of Graves' disease. Then there's antithyroid globulin antibodies, which also are more commonly associated with Hashimoto's and seen in some people with Graves' disease. Thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins are the antibodies associated with Graves' disease, and that's what I tested positive for. And some people with Graves' disease will have all three antibodies I just mentioned. So sometimes I'll see patients with elevated thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins, elevated TPO antibodies, and elevated thyroid globulin antibodies. When I was diagnosed with Graves' disease, I only had elevated thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins. And then the fourth main type of thyroid antibody is what's called thyrotropin blocking antibodies. So this is a type of TSH receptor antibody and thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins are also a type of TSH receptor antibody. They are the most common type of TSH receptor antibody, but then you also have thyrotropin blocking antibodies, which result in hypothyroidism, whereas thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins will typically result in hyperthyroidism. So how can you lower your thyroid antibody levels? Well, of course, you want to find or remove the environmental trigger. And if you have multiple triggers, then you'll need to find and remove all of these triggers. Healing the gut is important. You need a, in order to have a healthy immune system, you need to have a healthy gut. And you might need to correct other imbalances that are causing or contributing to the autoimmune response. And while eliminating the triggers and healing the gut many times will eliminate the inflammation, sometimes you need to do additional things in order to inhibit the chronic inflammatory process associated with autoimmunity. So be on the lookout for the next few videos where I will talk in detail about the different types of thyroid antibodies. If you like this video, please click on the like button below and I'll catch you on the next video.